everyone. It's Patty from the studio. Hope you're all doing well. I uh, had two firsts today. My first estate sale was, I got an app notification. It was maybe five minutes away from our home. And I went to a thrift store about 20 minutes away that I had never been to before called My Unique. And I had no idea anything about it before the lockdown. I had signed up like on an email thing to be a VIP and I got a text yesterday that the store was having 50% off everything and was opening up an hour earlier if you had this kind of scannable code on your phone. And I was very lucky yesterday I sold um, all my husband's old Apple Newton Apple, Apple Newton handheld PDA. I don't think that's it. <laughs> I think PDA is something totally different. Anyway, sold all three of them to one buyer. So I thought, well, since that was a nice little profit, I took some of that money to reinvest it in my business and get some more inventory. And you can see by these pictures how big this thrift store was. was huge filled to the rafters with everything clothing furniture electronics books DVDs collectibles you name it they had it and all mass counted heads one-way aisles um, you know just kind of everything that we were getting kind of used to and I'm okay with it if it keeps us safe that's fine I'll walk this way and not that way it's really not a big deal and 50% um, and off, I mean, my gosh, Oof. I couldn't help myself. So here's the haul from today's firsts. Stay tuned. Here is the haul from this new thrift shop I went to. And again, everything was 50% off. So some of the prices are high, but with 50% off, I definitely thought I would do okay especially on this first piece here. It's kind of a covered casserole in really good condition. Nice pattern. Hopefully the packing tape won't impact the gold when I take it off, but sometimes I'll soak it in warm water before I start to remove it. But it was uh, $10, but it was 50 off, so $5. And the reason I grabbed this thing is it's um, Theodore Haviland Limoges, which is a extremely well-selling name. So size with the lid in this condition, uh, based on selling comps, I would say 50 to $70 I could see for this on a $5 investment. Yes, please. This next item is a celebration tree from Wilton. And again, you know I love their cake pans. I do well with them. And it was it's new in box. It was three bucks. And it's just a little wire tree that you can use for shower favors or party favors, baby shower, money tree. We all want one of those pictures for anniversary, ornaments, Christmas time, birthdays, kids' parties. New in box, unopened, and it was $3. So I'm thinking, I don't know, 12-ish. We'll see. Easy to ship, new in box. I say that a lot. Oh, also, by the way, I've received a lot of comments on this cabinet that's in the background. People wanting to know is it antique? Where did I get it? Um, actually, it's a plain box from Ikea that I upcycled. I spray painted it with various browns and sponged it and then did different colors to make it kind of a leathery look. And then I added these kind of old school draw poles that I got at the hardware store, I think. It's a little sticky because it's hot. And then on some of them, I have little inspirational metal pieces that were actually from jewelry making. And then in the middle, I added some doorknobs. 
uh, cabinet pull, sorry. And then on the large drawer, another pull like that. But this is, you know, just an Ikea upcycle, which I never videoed, unfortunately. I have another one I've done, and I'm working on a third. So maybe I'll do a video about that. It's the Mopey box. And that's an upcycle. I digress. This next item is a mustache mug. I have no idea its age or manufacturer. It's got examples of different types of big mustaches. And this way, the gentleman, if he has a big bushy mustache, won't get his whiskers full of foam or coffee, tea, hot chocolate. And um, I've seen a lot of these online. It has to be cleaned, obviously. But I thought that was fun. And it was two fifty. But I think they sell very well from what I've seen in my research. This next item is a graphic novel about CBGB, which was a famous club in downtown Manhattan. If you're a child of the, I hate to say it, 70s, and it was a big punk scene, new wave. And I thought it was very unusual. And I've done well lately with kind of graphic novels. And I thought the subject matter, I mean, if you've ever been there, that's uh, the bathroom. Crazy, crazy place, but so much fun. Great history, great memories, great bands. And uh, I thought there could definitely be a market for this. I think it's from 2000 and it was five bucks good and great condition. So that was a nice find. Then these two items, I kind of passed by. I wasn't sure. Obviously, I haven't taken all the stickers off. They were three bucks each. So two for three with the discount. She's got like dirt on her nose. And I, I was like, nah, I don't know. But then I looked in the on the back and it says Cameo Creation. And it's a famous Thomas Gainsborough painting Lady Sheffield and the other one her stickers right on her nose a, another one and it's Elizabeth Duchess of Devonshire by Sir Joshua Reynolds well I googled real quickly in the store and a cameo creation I don't know if these exact ones but other ones I've seen went for extremely good money so we'll see how they go and then Tonka, a wood locomotive. There's some pencil markings here, which I need to try to clean, but it's really heavy, well-made, came in at four bucks. And I thought, I don't know anything about it. I'm gonna look it up, see if I can find anything. Hopefully I can try to clean that up or I would just note it. And there's like a tape mark, but I thought that was really well done. Nice name, collectible. So we'll see. Different. I try different things sometimes. I, I try to look in different areas. I'm just going to have to put him there. We're running out of room. Then this decanter is from Wheat and Glass. And its first edition is noted on the bottom. And it's about uh, Andrew Jackson seventh president of the U.S., and I know we've had some uh, realizations about some of our presidents, but there are people that still collect Americana, and it's in a carnival glass. You can see how it's iridescent. It's dark green, but then in certain lights, it's like a prism. And then on the back, so it was four dollars, you know, just a little more information about him, but it is signed Wheat and Glass first edition. So I haven't done any more research on this, but again, just kind of putting it to the light. It's just different. And Wheat and Glass, I think this is probably from the 30s or 40s. And I love the Carnival glass, the iridescent foiling to it. Then I bought these two plates. I thought they were very just whimsical. They were $2 each. 
So I got both of them for $2. And they're Johnson Brothers England Farmyard Chick. It's modern, obviously, because it's got microwave. But Johnson Brothers is a, a name I've heard of and I've sold before. Obviously, this is a modern iteration. But, you know, two of them, cute set. I just thought they were really cheerful, nicely done, good condition. So we'll see how those play out. I'm running out of space. This item I saw from down across the aisle and I knew immediately what it was and I was right. It's uh, Schumann China from Bavaria and it was $2. I have another plate similar to this but they're known for their, I believe it's transferware. I don't think it's hand painted. Some of it might be but the kind of that pastel background is what they're famous for with the gold trim, beautiful condition, nice lines to it. I think they call this the coupe shape with a little kind of footed bottom, but beautiful. And based on the previous pieces I've had of Schumann, it should sell. And I believe this is from the 1930s. I think, but again, I haven't researched everything yet. I basically just got home. And then they have the little bags on the wall, like savers, which is kind of hit or miss because you, you kind of can see it. But for $2, what I could see is it was called Fairyland China, made in Japan. And it's two little demi toss cups with a saucer, and it's got dragons on it. It's hard to see. I don't want to take them out yet. But they look hand painted, and they have a dragon motif. You can see it on here, maybe a little bit. So sometimes these dragon motifs do very well. Again, based on you know other resellers that I follow. And it's a nice little grouping for not a lot of money. And then finally, of course, I have to go look in the handbags, tote bags. And this I might have to launder, but I'm not sure. It was cute. Um, made in India. Just a very simple crossbody bag. Peace signs all over it, color blocking. And it's got a little Velcro pocket up here for your keys or your lipstick. Uh, I don't know. But it was $1.50. I just liked it. It was in good condition. Full zipper. Made in India. Very lightweight. Great for the summer. And then this, you know, the white pleather is a little scuffy. I have to see if I can clean that off. But, you know, once upon a time, with the lipstick and the red apple, so you know who she is. And once upon a time. So cute tote bag. And the back is plain. Snow White's face kind of goes around the side. Apple's on the inside. Zipper. And it is an official. Get in there. And grab it. Disney Princess. Can't really tell. A Disney Princess bag. So Disney obviously does well. And I, I just thought it was really cute. Honestly, when I first thaw, saw it, I thought it was like, you know, an Estee Lauder giveaway type of thing. I didn't get the whole Snow White apple right out of the gate. I didn't have enough coffee this morning, so I just picked it up and I was pleasantly surprised. And it was seven, so three fifty. Fun. So let's see what I grabbed at the estate sale. And my total spend here after the discounts was forty dollars. So definitely the Haviland Limoges alone, I think will pay for this shopping trip. So I have to try to get that listed ASAP. So stay tuned for part two. So these are the goodies I picked up at the estate sale. 
ended up spending 30 for everything but there's a couple items here that I'm think I'm gonna get my money back pretty quickly uh, first thing is this nice little kind of condiment plate I don't know if there's another or bowl I don't know if there's another word for it I have to double check the size and the shape to see if it can give me a better definition but it's from Hall Pottery which is a vintage USA company and um, tends to be pretty popular so that was cute simple actually these books were free picked up two of them Rubens Orphans Anthology of Contemporary Nicaraguan Poetry I just thought it was really something different and it's a lot of young poets the book is from 2001 and it's in I'm sorry I would assume Spanish and English translation so free I thought even if I get a couple of bucks that would be worth it I've got a couple of little paintings that just struck me as very pretty this is I think acrylic signed by the artist it's on this piece of like particle board kind of a southwest imagery I liked the colors I liked the brush strokes on it I thought it was pretty and then a companion piece by a different artist but again I love the the southwestern vibe the Adobe house the family signed by an artist and I just thought it was pretty colors well done and again it's on kind of a particle board and I just thought it was pretty nice little brush strokes so we shall see about those then this item I always love things that are wrapped this is a Star Wars lunchbox from Hallmark 1977 numbered edition certi certificate of authenticity so originally 1095 but you know Star Wars is still big and I like that it's completely wrapped and it's got all the information on it all the characters but brand new is always adds a couple of dollars and I saw this camera and it's uh, a Kodak Brownie Fiesta it's in rough shape I have to do some cleaning and it's missing the windy thing spool um, but it's from 1966 ish there was actually film inside so my husband grabbed that to see if he can do anything with it but even if I can sell it for parts I think it was five dollars and a lot of times for props or just displays people like this kind of look even if it's not operable so I would probably sell it for parts only then Santa he was also being given away for free and he's vintage plastic felt and there's a couple of worn spots here and there on him but this is pretty old I'm thinking 50s but you can see here it's a little worn but for a zero dollar investment vintage Christmas sometimes does pretty well so that's why I grabbed him these two pieces as you can hear are cast iron and they're made by a company called Sexton in the US vintage I don't know the year but these recently I looked at um, selling comps and they go for about eight dollars each so hopefully if I can get 16 this one's a little worn but they're you know an iron and they're marked with the company name then they look pretty old as well but I just thought they were kind of neat and I was happy to find them online that they exist I guess a butter churner then this item is a Napco vase in a hunter green tapered ribbed and it is marked Napco Cleveland Ohio and I found it's got some dirt which has to be cleaned but there were no chips no cracks and I thought it was just a really pretty color I put it up at the window and comps for this selling comps were going for about 30 so when you think 
that's pretty much my whole spend. If I can get some of that back just on this, I win. Then the final piece is from Deluso. I've sold five things, I think, so far from Deluso. They're actually in Brooklyn. I don't know if they still are in existence, but they were in Brooklyn, and they were a huge importer of items that they sold for weddings, bridesmaid gifts. And this was a really cute little set, two little demi toss cups in like a little bit of a Art Deco feel with a nice little luster, pink luster, and a T Bavaria Germany design. I don't know if that's just the name or if they were made in Germany, but they feel that they could be from Germany. And then two matching heart saucers. And again, I have to wash them, but no chips, no cracks, a nice set in box. I sold recently a Deluso set. It was a uh, creamer and sugar in a metal caddy in the box. And that sold for, I think, close to $40. So this is, you know, a nice wedding present for someone, perhaps. Anniversary, Valentine's Day, engagement, all the love things. And uh, the fact that it's nice box, nice presentation, I think will go a long way. So that was my first time at an estate sale. And it was a lot of fun and one of the best parts. The woman who was running it was just very interesting. And I was talking to her and we actually exchanged numbers, talked about future collaboration in the uh, some areas she's not as strong in as I am and vice versa. So it was... Uh, very nice woman. I enjoyed speaking with her, and we'll see. So, thanks for watching this. See you later. So, hope you enjoyed the haul. I enjoyed shopping, and hopefully we'll get some nice flip-for-profit opportunities, and I think we will. And, uh, again, I was, I kind of sold quite a bit, and I got a few more sales, actually, as I was filming on some other items. So, I'm very happy about that. So, if you haven't had a chance, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you again in the studio. Have a fabulous August. Cheers.